So this cylinder was made last week and now it's stiff enough. It's almost like, if you think of consistency, it's like a hard cheese that it's ready to cut. So I'm gonna put it on the wheel head and this wheel head has circles on it. So that gives me a guide of how to center the piece for trimming. I also have my trimming tools from the pottery kit and I'm gonna get ready to take off this excess weight. But, but first I have to get it stuck to the wheel head so it doesn't fly off. So I'm gonna start spinning this a little bit a lot of times I take my foot off and I'm going to tap to center. So what I'm doing is, and you'll see I'll grab it periodically if, it, if I tap it too hard and it was moving wrong. And I'm tapping it to center it. I'm ignoring the top because that's more uncentered right now. I'm dealing with the body of the piece. So I'm going to put my balls of clay to hold it in place tripodally in a triangle. So in thirds. So there's one, there's a second. And sometimes if they don't want to stick, um, I'll get them wet with a little bit of water on the edge and to touch the pot. And sometimes I put the balls of clay a little bit higher. I'm going to attempt fate by staying low, just, just so you can see this better. So right here, I'm looking and looking here and here and here. So there's the third part of my triangle. So making sure that these are on there and ready to not slide. Okay, so now that I have it on there, I'm gonna tap it and listen for thickness. So, and I can do that with the, with the wheel spinning or off. So here, it, it's thin. Right there, it's thicker. The sound is distinctively, so there's more clay right here. There's more clay right there. And it's thinner right here. Okay, so it gives me a guide of what I need to take off. Now, for a cylinder foot, I don't do a traditional foot ring like I do with bowls um, because I want, I usually keep this a flat surface. So for your very first cylinders, you just want to practice taking some of the weight off and cleaning up the, the piece. So I'm going to start by pushing down. I'm locking my body. I don't want the tool to rock as I do this. Then I'm just going to flatten the bottom. So I start in the center and work my way out. And don't dig this way, I'm trying to stay straight. On there. I use my finger to smooth it out. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take off the excess weight. I'm gonna put this at an angle, hold it tightly. And the first cut, because if I didn't take this off the wheel head correctly, it might be have chunks on the side. So I wanna make sure any chunks are removed that way it doesn't fly off when I hit one and it bounces. So. so now I'm just taking off the excess clay to help with lighten the weight of the piece. And if you remember, it was thicker right here. So that's what I'm taking off. And you can see it just hopped. So when it hops, you gotta stop, see where it came loose, see how it's lifting, and push in that spot a little bit harder. And that's one of the issues with uh, taller pieces, trimming this way, they like to move. And also keep the edge of your tool clean so it doesn't catch and drag. And see, and there it goes again. And sometimes it does that if the clay's just too dry. So it's actually literally popping off from lack of moisture. So the cylinder is almost too dry to do this. But we'll see if we can get away with it. Nope. And you see that's another reason to keep your hand on it the whole time is it's easier to catch. So I'm just going to fix this, feel the weight. And luckily these are in the same spot so I know where it should go. I'm just going to turn it till it gets back in there. And take another little piece of clay and reinforce it there. And it just takes practice. And when you guys probably have new tools in your from your kit, so the newer tools are really sharp. So what I'm going to do next is just bevel this 
Like I said, for cylinders, all we're doing right now is practicing trimming and taking off some of the weight. I beveled it because this is where I'm going to wax later. I'm going to wax the bottom and the side here up to that line. That way it's ready for glazing for our glaze tests. But we're just going to keep these basic cylinders. I'm going to take the clay off. Uh, check the weight. If you distorted the rim, just tap it and that'll fix it. And then this is ready to be signed. So again, I'm signing my initials, the year, and my last name. And that's our basic cylinder for the first time you're attempting to trim. It, was, it just takes a lot of practice, but we'll get there.